Okay, so. <laughs> my name is Duncan Alverdice. The reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey as I become the person who I am. Today is technically, I don't know, Tuesday. Today's been a crazy day because what I thought I was gonna talk about initially then was followed by a series of incredible events that, well, maybe I just wasn't expecting. Maybe I'm over evaluating. First item of business, how many dials today I did well. So 144 dials, zero book demos. So I'll start here. I'm. It's a weird story because I'm frustrated because the person who like typically what happens during a day where I make a lot of dials and I'm actually double dialing now and that's increasing my connection rate. So it's not just like talking to voicemails, but it actually is like there are 26 connections, nine of which were people who were either calling back or, or actually it would have been more. Actually, no, 12 of the connections that I had today, I don't, I, let's say there was 30 were from the double dial which means that the connection rate was increased by one and a half times, which then makes the day, instead of calling and, like just calling voicemail, 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 talk to someone not with the program, voicemail, voicemail, it was more productive. Now, none of them actually turned into demos and most of them were either, not, they didn't have the capacity or didn't fit the client profile. But what's more, what feels more productive about it is that I actually got to talk to somebody rather than just having another thing to do in the cadence. Um, but so typically what happens on those days is I call throughout the day, nothing gets booked. Then I take a break kind of in the afternoon. But when four o'clock hits, then I go power hour, dial like hard for that four to five time slot and normally can either book a demo and sometimes two. And then the day that thought it was gonna end with a zero, like ends with a win, so that was good. At 4.30, a guy picks up, friendly, likes the opener, listens to the pitch likes what the initial hook is. And then so I explain more about the program and the more I, I find out about him, the more ideal, like he actually fits the exactly what the criteria of the people that we actually can help effectively. But then when it got to like, okay, let's book a time to talk about it. I told him that it wouldn't be, like it would be with another member of our team. And he was like, no, I'm not doing that. And then it was, fr well, <laughs> What was frustrating was the fact that, okay, hold on, sorry, I thought to, now the reason why he was saying that is because the, the, the conversation was kind of going like, you're being taken advantage of because you're not being paid the money for the work that you have done here. That's what the person who's just closing it is doing. Um, my counter to, to that, which I believe is true was like, yes, Although I am sacrificing the short-term money right here, because I'm playing this role as part of the team that this business is, and this business is headed in this direction where at this point in time, my role is not to do this, like the closing aspect, but I am building to a place where I will be that person. That short-term money loss is a long-term lesson and skills learned of things that will be valuable later when I'm actually in that role. He didn't accept that and said, I don't think you're looking at it right. <laughs> Essentially, 20 minutes later, I like like defeated, or not defeated, but went going like, okay, so I will talk to my manager, which he was the one to mention it. Um, I, like, he, he, he was the one to mention it, like going like, like, talk to your manager, see if you can book the demo. I, I don't know what will happen in that conversation, but uh, that's that, but Moving past the more the fr more frustrating aspect of it is the fact that what I did have at five o'clock was a demo that I had booked for myself that the management team like like had said, "Hey, you're doing well. We kind of want to get you ready for the, the the next position. Why don't you book like a couple for yourself and host them yourself?" So I was getting ready for that. Now the reason why I wasn't uh, letting him do that was because on Monday, or I, like I, I'm, I'm because it, I, I know it's business stuff, so I can't actually say specifics. But I'm trying to express it in a way that still makes sense. Essentially, Monday, 
I was told the original plan of you starting as the new position in December is no more. Changes are happening in order for like in the business. I, I felt a little defeated by that because I had set my expectations there and then they hadn't been fulfilled. But then today, the reason why I very much enjoy this company and, and is, is the culture and everything about it was reinforced because essentially there was a town hall meeting. There was like the CEO was there. And in short, he gave a solid reasoning for the changes that are being made, which potentially could change the overall structure of the business. And then so, and then after that made sense to me, and then I could go like, okay, so then that is why potentially the thing that I'm doing is being put on pause. But then afterwards, there was part of the management who then put the junior account executives um, into a group and said, going like, okay, here's the plan. We're, we're thinking that like, we're gonna start you in this, the position you were working towards in the, at the beginning of the year. And so, I think what, what I was what, what what I was reinforced by of why I like working for this company was that the insight into the decision making of to the the structure of the business shifting was transparent and revealed to me. So like I'm not just like blindly working for a person, and an action plan with, that was a replacement for the previous plan was put in place. So then like I don't really have any complaints because I go like okay well so yes. While I want to be in the new position, I understand that <laughs> the business must come first because if the business is not profitable long term, then I don't have a job long term. And so, yeah, I can wait a month <laughs> as long as I'm part of the conversation. So then that was what was frustrating of going like, okay, I now know the role I have is not, I'm no longer sometimes booking demos for myself. So then from this conversation with the guy who's saying that he won't do it unless it's with me was like, like, well, what do I, like, I, like, I can't tell him all the specifics of what actually is going on, but, uh, that, so that was frustrating, but that was the thing. Um, in the end, everything worked out. Oh no. Okay. No, no, no. And then, and then the demo that I hosted, um, well, it did work out in the end. The demo that I hosted, I just was, I was frustrated because I was flattered, flustered, fluttered, fluttered, flustered <laughs> by the call that had gone on. So I didn't go in it with a cool head. And then also when I got off that call early, like at 4.50, the guy who was supposed to call me uh, at five called early. And then so I didn't pick up the two times he dialed because I was on the call with the other guy. So then I'm calling him back and the conversation didn't go in a controlled, like I kind of with, I was the way that I was hoping it for. By the end of the conversation, there's a follow-up booked for next week. And he didn't sound like it was like, he didn't, wasn't interested. Um, so that's relieving, reassuring. So that's one going. It all worked out in the end. It's not clear that it wouldn't, it won't. Like the worst case of now the deal's lost completely, will occur, which is what my fear was from that. But then what was nice was after the call, I sent like a message to the manager, being going like, "What do we actually kind of do here?" And my manager like started a huddle with me and like like listen, let let me vent and like we like talked through it. Um, so that was, like, I really appreciated that. Um, and then <laughs> after that call, well, in the middle of that call, then I saw my mom call was calling me, um, because I had sent her a text before from the, a screenshot of the response from the management of a text that I sent to the Slack channel. Me like, look at, like, I like, I like working here. Um, <laughs> so then after I got off the, the call, the huddle with the manager, then I called my mom and said the same thing and then talked about a different bunch of different things. And now I'm having the same conversation. <laughs> I just had for the previous half hour and then the half hour before that, um, and documenting it here. How long has this been? 10, 24. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I think just more that the double dial method works and 
This is real life. I feel better today. I got out of bed at 7.30, the improvement. I did 30 push-ups, three sets of 30 push-ups over the course of the day, um, like at three different time points. And yeah, that's all I gotta say today. <laughs>